The chair recognizes the gentleman from Oklahoma. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> It is no secret that the Obama administration wants to phase out the 287G program. This program has successfully teamed up local law enforcement with federal agents to pursue a wide range of investigations, such as human smuggling, gang and other organized crime activity, and money laundering. But the President thinks this program is ineffective. In order to phase out the 287G, President Obama's FY 213 budget request struck $17 million from the program by terminating agreements and stopping any further agreements from being signed. Thankfully, the underlying bill restores funding to the 287G. The 287G program provides states and local law enforcement with the training to identify, process, and detain possible immigration offenders. This program extends the federal government's ability to enforce our immigration laws without the additional overhead. This program has been highly successful at not only apprehending immigration offenders, but has facilitated the incarceration of dangerous criminals and has contributed to overall public safety. Nationwide, more than 1,500 officers have been trained and certified to enforce immigration laws, and there are 68 active memorandum of agreements in 24 states. Altogether, since the program's inception, 287G has identified over 186,000 aliens for removal. Mr. Chairman, let me tell you about some local 287G success stories from my district. In February this year, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office was able to bust a sex slave ring in Tulsa and rescue the female victims from having up to 22 men forced on them per day. This was possible because of 287G partnership. Because of this partnership, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office conducted investigations into known large shipments of amphetamine, opium, and powdered testosterone resulting in successful prosecution and asset forfeiture. Because of 287G, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office assisted with an arrest of nine illegal immigrants being smuggled inhumanely in the bed of a Chevy Avalanche, one of whom was a child. Since the inception of the program in Tulsa, the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office has identified, processed, and entered into immigration proceedings over 14,000 aliens, representing those with dangerous criminal backgrounds. Sex trafficking, drugs, and human smuggling are all part of what 287G program helps stop. These stories are from Tulsa, but every locality that participates in this program has similar and equally laudable results. While full funding has been restored to 287G in H.R. 5855, the program needs further protection. In order to further insulate these successful agreements and protect them from being terminated for cost-saving purposes or political reasons, my amendment simply prevents the termination of standing 287G agreements. We cannot allow the Obama administration any loophole to phase out or terminate this important program and place more undue pressure on our communities already burdened by criminal illegal immigration. Simply put, until the federal government steps up and starts doing its job, local law enforcement will continue to pick up the slack and enforce our laws. I encourage the adoption of my common sense amendment by my colleagues today, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Oklahoma.